Hello my bunnies, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be making coffee bombs. So these are basically the coffee version of hot chocolate bombs or my most recent tea bombs. So let's get started. So I'm gonna show you how to make two different varieties today. First, we're going to make fat bombs, which basically create bulletproof coffee, which is basically like a keto coffee that has butter in it. And then we're going to be making mocha bombs because I wanted a way to do this without doing a chocolate shell, so that's why I'm gonna show you two different ways. So first, to make the fat bombs, you wanna place some grass-fed butter, some coconut oil, some cocoa powder, this is optional, some vanilla extract, and two to three tablespoons of instant coffee powder in a bowl, and mix until fully combined. And I'll have all the ingredients and quantities listed in the description box down below. Then spoon some of the mixture into each cavity of a half sphere mold. Then run a knife over the top to create flat edges. Pop the mold into the freezer until the shells are hard for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then just unmold the shells and set them aside in the fridge while you make the filling. So you wanna get some whipped cream and one tablespoon of instant coffee powder in a bowl and beat with an electric mixer until stiff peaks form. Spoon the cream into a piping bag, fit it with a large star-shaped piping tip, and I'll link the one I'm using down below. Then pipe a dollop of cream into one shell and place another empty shell on top. And these get soft at room, temp room temperature super quickly, so you don't need to add anything else to seal them together. Just like the warmth of your hands will seal the two sides together. Then to serve, place one bomb into a large mug, because these are quite big. And you can top with boiling water, or if you want it to be extra strong, you can top it with black coffee. Then stir to melt the bomb, and you are done! So next, on to the mocha bombs. So you can use a variety of different chocolate for this, and so I'm gonna like go into what kind of chocolate I'm using. So if you want just plain dark chocolate, I like 70% chocolate. Lint is my favorite. I've used it the entire time I've been here on YouTube just because it tastes delicious. It's very, very smooth and super high quality. But there's also 90% dark chocolate that Lint has, and so this is super bitter. It's like not fun to eat. But if you don't want a super strong chocolatey flavor, this is a really good one to use. It's like extra, extra dark chocolate. I think they also have 99%, which you can use. I, I hate it, it's so bitter, uh, but I know a lot of people like it. <laughs> and then if you like milk, this is the milk I use. I do like using the Lint Excellence, but I just can't find the milk one anymore. So this is the kind we're using and it works, don't worry. <laughs> so first you wanna melt the chocolate in a microwave safe bowl. Then pour the chocolate into a half sphere mold and use a spoon to spread it evenly over the inside of each sphere. And I did a marble effect with the milk and dark chocolate just to make it look extra pretty. I think it looks beautiful when it's unmolded. Then pop the mold into the fridge for the chocolate to set for about 20 to 30 minutes and then repeat again for a second coating. And this is just gonna make sure that the walls of the shells are sturdy and they won't melt in your hands. Then just gently unmold the shells and look how pretty that marbled one looks. Oh my goodness. And then we're going to fill the shells with another one tablespoon of instant coffee powder. This is the Starbucks VI. I use it all the time, not sponsored. It's just fabulous. And I love that it comes in like pre-measured packets. And then if you like, you can add some powdered coffee creamer as well. And if you want like an extra all in one, this is a good way to create a milky coffee without having to add like milk when you're adding the hot water in the final step. Then place another shell on top, seal it with some more melted chocolate and chill it in the fridge for 10 minutes to set. And then you can drizzle some more chocolate on top for decoration. And I tried dusting some luster dust on top. I hate how it turned out. I think it just looks dusty. Um, so not the way I pictured it turning out, but if, if you like it, then there you go. <laughs> But then yes, to serve, just pop a mocha bomb into a mug and you can either pour hot milk on top or boiling water. And this is when the powdered coffee creamer comes in handy because it will make it creamy even if you're just pouring boiling water on top. 
and then just stir your coffee and you are done. And so don't worry about adding water to chocolate. I know that when you do that, chocolate can seize, but I think that since it's such a large quantity of water in relation to the chocolate, the chocolate just melts and it makes a delicious mocha. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If you'd like to see anything else turned into bomb form, let me know. I'm trying to think of like a soup version to do, but I don't know what to make the shell out of. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next Tuesday for an all new video.